Okay, um... Let's proceed on with the story. I know. I hear your voices from across the internet. What? He's proceeding on with the story and not doing random side content stuff and wasting more time? God. A miracle, I know. That is what we were going to do. Well, at least until those next two uh, side quests pop up for me. At which point we're going to immediately go and do those instead. <sighs> okay, so... Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so we're about, we're ab are about to get those two quests, because I believe we get them in Arborea. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So, yeah, main story content may be fairly short-lived. Not falling for it. Ooh. We have to abandon little biatch. Sorry, little biatch. That's about your blood run cold. Oh, whoops. I was thinking that was the AoE one. I was thinking that was Sizzle. Dismount a little biatch and ride. Mm, I don't know what they call it. Yeah, I don't know what they call this thing. Egg biatch. Jumper biatch. Go. I was trying to go over that way. Gosh darn it. Because I wanted the sparkly. Yeah. Sparklies are always good. One more now? Yep. One more to get the next reward. No sparkly spots, so just looking for treasure. Well, after the cutscene. This is where Serena and Veronica are from. Who would have 
thought a place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail. Uh. It's breathtaking. Two people in our party would have. Oh, stop it, you. You're making me blush. Although, I suppose the old hometown is pretty amazing. Wait, you mean this is... It is indeed. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers. The ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches. And of Veronica and I. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. The altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. Oh, is that so? You don't say. You don't sigh. I can't do any sort of voices. I'm, I'm terrible at that stuff. I can try, but I'm really bad. Okay. Oh, great and glorious Idrisil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends, and another begins. O oh, mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Hi. Ah. Well, well. Our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not taller when last we met? Well, uh, it's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. Sir. The luminary. Can it really be? So I'm told. Ah, oh, what a blessed day this is. Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the luminary also. Welcome the luminary as well. Mm. I am Benedictus, High Priest of Arborea. And I have waited my whole life for this moment. Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest, and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. Yeah. A great power awaits us there. By our powers combined. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Oh, we can. Kind of. It, ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the luminary beside you. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. 
And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. Ah, uh, of course. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me, and I will show you the way. We already have them, buddy. That's why we're here. <clears throat> Which makes me wonder, because of that little scene there, I guess we would be able to just walk here early if we wanted to. Because why would he say that if we weren't? Since the only reason we actually even came here to begin with is because we actually did get all six orbs. What are you coughing? I thought there was a sparkly out here. I guess that is not true. Okay, uh, do we get any quests? I know those quests are in this town. I'm like 99% sure they are. I mean, I guess they could, may not be, but I mean, I'm pretty sure they are. Seed of sorcery. Let's go ahead and uh, break your pot here. Boom. He's like, what in heavens? Don't question me. Don't judge me. I'm the luminary. This means that uh, you worship me and you do as I say. That is all. I want one more medal, please. Uh, it's all the same stuff that we just could have bought from the other place. Yep. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Want to buy mini metal, mini metal, please, please, pretty please, can we have a mini metal, just need one more to complete the page that we're on, Ooh, books, crafting, crafting, no, uh, crafting, nope, want to buy mini metal, Anyone? Pretty please? Any metal? No, but that is very good. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna put this for supplicant. Supplicant. Oh, I wonder. Can I reforge these to get more MP per turn? Oh, I need to check that out. Just want one more mini medal. Just one, pretty, pretty, please.
Oh my god, this book is so long. Mini metal? house? No, definitely haven't. Fail me, town. You fail me. You're not gonna let me go back this way, are you? Didn't think so. We go back there later, though. Of course I do. What? I wouldn't be here if I didn't, buddy. Well, honored luminary. Shall we proceed? Lead the way, old man. These pictures, they're incredible. They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the Luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. No, the first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Edria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend, he went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. As for Mordekin, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Why, thank you. <sighs> Let's go up to the world tree. After we kind of look around in here. Okay, good. Let's go. Let's start our trek through the first forest. Which makes you wonder if there's the first forest, is there a second and third forest as well? Eh? Eh? These are the important. Now they have the quests up. Okay, well, uh, we were going to be proceeding on with the main story, but we are going to go do side quests because they popped up.
And because, well, you know, priorities. What do you want, buddy? Just come on. Make something called a super suit. Now, what I need you to do is head deep into the first forest and bring back, and bring me back a single leaf of the most vital ingredient of all, red kale. Okay. The white wit whatever bulbs that carried them live in first for live in the first forest, but they only appear very rarely. You should try fighting their friends. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay. Well, at least both uh, these quests require us to go into the first forest. Yeah. So Back to the first forest, and there are, I believe, two campsites in the first forest, so it shouldn't be too bad to like do these, pour it out, complete them, pour it back. I know that's a monster right there. A mini metal! We will turn this in once we get to that campsite. You know, I wonder if that thing would be considered flying. Can't catch me, Cyclops, dude. You're too slow. Rest until morning. Okay, let's go turn in those metals. No, this is not the last of the medals, by the way. There are still many, many more. I think there's over 100. Close to like 120 total in the game. If I remember correctly. It's one thing I never did in my Japanese playthroughs. I never collected every single medal. I don't remember how many I got, though. I got quite a bit of them. Quite a few of them. 
over half, I believe. I think I got close to like 70 or 80, something like that. But, uh... There are over 100. And we're about to get... Well, this, we have 45 now. Agility Gillet. I, if that's how that's pronounced. Next is at 50. Wow, that's really, really good. I want to give it to her, but it's a bigger upgrade for Eric, so I have to give it to him. And he loses this, that's it. Um, is there anything else that was good here to give him? This gives him agility. I don't play I don't like to hit the deafness. Excellent. Uh, let's also craft at the station here. Well, not really craft. Let's see if we can't improve some of these things. Specifically, those robes we just got, and the gillet, and those two uh, accessories. I don't even know if you can improve accessories. But I guess we're going to find out. I think you can. I'm pretty sure I vaguely remember myself doing that in the Japanese version. does this take? It takes nine. Let's try it. The very worst, we, we waste perfection pearls. Or these little pearls when we get the item back itself. Plus two, isn't it? No, it's a plus three. Nice. That makes me really want to give that to Jade. I guess we can up this for Jade. Plus 20, plus 53. Alright, let's try reworking this one for Jade.
That was very risky there at the end, but I wanted to give it a try. That's a plus one, right? Ooh, plus two. Okay. So the question is, with reforging this, does the MP per turn go up? That's going to be the real question. Oh crap, we do not need to be doing this. <laughs> the four thing. Hey, what's going on, Krim? You missed yet an entire story section getting another orb. I'm just reworking some items. Um, I got another one of these supplicants, so I did. I went ahead and reworked at the plus two. It gives me two MP per turn now. Later on, I'll try to re rework the plus three when I get more um, stuff to do with do with it. Yeah, we got the final orb, and uh, I guess I just won't tell you anything that happened on the way there, so you can experience that for yourself. But you know, we went to that library, got the final orb, did all that sort of stuff. And uh, now we are on the way to the World Tree. We just passed through uh, Veronica and Serena's village. And we were told about the legendary luminary. I forget his name already in English. But we'll be hearing a whole lot more about him. I've also done every single side quest that's available to us right now of the 26, except for two. These two, uh, they both require us to uh, be in the first forest, which is where we are currently going. That is a throwing weapon. It is. Oh, it's good too. Alright, um. Back to camp. Takes 11. All right. Hopefully I have enough skill points to do this. Oh, that is such a weird looking one. Okay. I 
Why are all the boomerangs like this? on that one. Man. No. Don't go over. Please don't go over. Okay, good. Plus two. Nice. Okay. Now we'll get to the first forest. The two quests there aren't that difficult. Um, one of them I gotta find an item. Red Kale. And the other one is gonna be more of an annoyance than anything. I have to do another one of those kill a, a rare spawn monster. Kind of like how we had to ki uh, kill that gold cacti or cactus. This one's another uh, similar thing to that. We have to fight a bunch of monsters of the same type until the rare one spawns and kill that one. Okay. Luckily in this particular dungeon here, we have two rest points, so we can easily get in and out and rest and all that goodness. Not only did you revive you your friends just there, you wasted an Yggdrasil leaf. I could put that to way better the use than you ever could, monster. Mastodon. How are you gonna miss that big ass game? Like, really? Really now? How do you miss that? Crit me, I crit you back. Another day, another victory. Asshole. Making me waste my MP early. Like now that I don't need like silk blossom all that much, I'm just getting it all over the place. Five of them. <laughs> Poor little guy. That was way overkill. Man, wasting another Yggdrasil leaf. At 
least they give a ton of experience. Oh yes, this room. And yes, that uh that is a giant statue that we are fighting. Oh don't puff puff. Ugh. Up until now, I've avoided these enemies because I knew that they were enemies. Zombie Slayers. Too bad I don't really care about that. Hey, it's another one of those guys, just not the really cool one. that kale actually huh. Oh, we obviously have to rest here. Have to do it just to get the uh, warp point. Also, man, Eric is getting so close to being just an AoE phenomenon. I need to get two more. Basically, I need to grab these two nodes, and I can grab this, and then he can go Shadow Clone, smack your face up with this ability. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so, so fun. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna, at the very least, he's gonna deal shit damage in style. But that's kind of how I look at it. Like, if you're, if you're gonna suck, at least suck in style. 
right? I mean, who knows? Maybe it will actually be such an incredibly awesome combination that I, like, rethink my position on him, like, pre-post-game. But I'm not really holding my breath. I'm hoping he proves me wrong and he's, like, super badass. And I'm like, oh, man, Eric's amazing before post-game. But I, 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 don't, just don't, I don't see that happening. Just don't see that happening. Alright, where the hell is this damn kale? Want to buy red kale so I can have this quest complete. Okay, thanks, bye. Red kale? Is it back here? Where the hell is it? I didn't think it was this far into the forest, but maybe it was. Oh yes, here's the little things I gotta beat up on. At least I'm pretty sure this is who I have to beat up on. Double check. Sprite bulbs. Yep. We gotta beat up a whole bunch of these things. Aren't we just nice adventurers? Well, to be fair, if they would hurry up and send out the white bulb then, you know, their suffering would not be quite as bad. Really, it's not my fault. It's the game developer's fault for giving me a quest that requires me to slaughter a whole bunch of them. So, I I'm not at fault. It's Square Enix is at fault. Haha, and there it is. See? They don't have to suffer for all that long. Oh my god, that thing gets hard. Oh god, okay. Thanks, little dude. Bye, little dude. We're not done yet. God, this thing hits like a truck. And it 
paralyzes. Alright, screw these things. Kill them all. Set them all on fire. Just get rid of them. How dare he paralyze my hero. Does that thing not understand that I am the Luminary? The Luminary does not get paralyzed. Now, I gotta find this stupid, stupid red kale, and I don't know where it is. I must have passed it. I had to have passed it somewhere, because I, I don't remember it being this far in here. Hmm. But we'll get this scene first, and then I'll... Well, actually, I'll look it up while this scene's going. Trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright eyed and bushy tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. <laughs> I bet it's not voice acted. Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from? Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. Hmm. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? Mm -mm. No. The High Priest gave it to me. He said it would... help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Yes. Beauty sleep. Out in the middle of a forest. Veronica? Hmm? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? 
Do you think they'll fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. Ouch. <sighs> but I hope they do. <sighs> that was a little bit of a deep cut. <laughs> You've always been a bit slow. Man, tell us how you really feel. So it should be up here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Let's go turn these two quests in. By the way, this is uh, Veronica and Serena's hometown here. Yeah, it's pretty fancy. Just another one of these. Ugh. Ugh, it's not that good. Heals HP per turn. So heals three. That means if you get it up to plus three, it can be plus six per turn. Or plus five per turn. It's just not that good. Early on, it's fantastic, though. Okay, and that is... Every quest currently available to us. All 26 of them. Okay, so she's getting 2 MP from that. This is giving her 2 MP. So she's getting 4 MP per turn, which I actually really like. But man, is this such an upgrade. But you know what? I don't care. I want MP per turn. I wonder if I can beat this game in four days. Probably not. Uh, yeah, I grabbed that, so now we are saving up for, I think, Giga Slash.
do I really want to go after Giga Slash first? I mean, it's a whopping 16 MP to, to get that. It's great. But 16 MP is huge. I think I'm just going to save up on his points for a while, to be honest. The reason I say is because on the 14th, um, a game comes out that I want to play as well. The uh, DLC, the uh, Torna Legend or whatever DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 comes out. So how much did I say he needed? 3, 7, 13, 21, 31. Okay. I don't want to play that as well, because, uh, I mean, I have the. I bought the season pass, and that game is awesome. 